Welcome back to Afternoon Express. So, you know, every Tuesday we invite one of our favorite celebrity guests to come and cook with us on the show. And today Zola Seven was meant to come, but unfortunately he couldn't make it because he had a family emergency. But we always get our celebrity guests to choose what meal, what their favorite meal is that we can cook. So Zola's favorite was this Cape Malay fish curry. <laughs> and thank <laughs> Goodness, by the grace of God, you are not I allergic not to fish. Allergic to fish. <laughs> <laughs> but you actually Can do you? like this dish. I this is one of your I favorites. Love, I, one of my favorites. Actually, the, my first time ever visiting Borkup at the yeah. Cape Malay restaurant, we had a beautiful um, chicken, it, I think it was butter chicken oh, curry, that something is like so that. Good. But also, I tried the fish at the yes. time, and I was like, Oh, yeah. This is this is to die for. But so that was good. my first and the last time there because I could afford it at the time. But oh, well, okay. girl, you here now. Don't you just <laughs> love it when things happen like that? Now there is never a dull moment in our cook along as we like to keep things really spicy. So our aromatic Cape Malay style yellowtail curry is a really excellent dinner party feast everyone will love digging into. And if you uh, need this local and lacquer recipe, SMS the keyword EAT to 33650 to get the list of ingredients and the recipe sent directly to you. You know how I feel when I hear curry, on, especially on a day like this, the word LISS. You know when you just mm. LISS for curry? Today I'm LISS for this curry. So how do we get started on it? Otherwise, I'm just going to chat all day and I'm going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Where do we start? Right, we'll take us yeah, so I'll start with the curry sauce. We're going to heat a little dash of oil. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to brown our onion. Here we go. <laughs> so well, just, now you don't do have I just to go to Book Hub to go and buy it. You can <laughs> yes, make it at home now. Yes. We're I want to I wanna be definitely friends with her because yeah. she <laughs> seems like she knows what she, <laughs> she's doing. Then I can just invite yeah. her over for cook and, yeah. you know. Well, that would Between be amazing. Between my, uh, <laughs> Mo and my and Aya, you know that um, old advert with like Italian mama stuck in the cupboard? These are our best kitchen secrets. Oh yeah, we're friends from today. Exactly. Okay. okay. You keep what do we close. We put in okay, next. so we need to get our onion nice and brown. Nice and brown. Because okay. that is the good okay. basis I'll for I'll just stir this and make sure. Curry. And okay. then we have enough heat. We can also get our whole spices going. So we're going to yeah. add some cumin seeds. Cumin I love seeds. cumin seeds. This never lasts love in my them. house. Mm -hmm. <gasps> really nice and earthy. Do you want to give that a smell? So oh, smoky. Beautiful. Sometimes when you smell something, you can almost tell what it tastes like. Yeah. Mm. Just oh. Yeah, Very yeah, nice. yeah, this is a good one. Cumin. It yeah. just reminds me of curry. It's the, it's the real curry flavor. Yeah. And what, what are we putting and now? These are whole coriander seeds. So these oh, have lovely. like a, a lemony and a nutty undertone. Mm -hmm. Does this. it taste like coriander? It does. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's get that a little I need to have you on speed dial. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the other exciting thing you yeah. can do with your spices, and what I do at home to just mm. um, get rid of some odors, you can actually toast them like your seeds, like your fennel seeds, your cumin seeds. You yeah. can toast them, put them in the jar, just have them on top of your microwave, and yeah. all those fumes will make your house smell very good. Oh, oh lovely. Yeah. Do you know what I do do? Is I cut a lemon and I leave a, a lemon cut in half in the fridge. Apparently that makes the fridge smell nice. Yeah, it takes away the odors. Yeah, I think, yeah, because also the other thing, a lot of people tend to leave their food and stuff, like a lot of, let's say, um, your cheesecakes, mm. or your dairy stuff open. So if you have your eggs and your onions, everything, you know, will suck all on, yeah. on your food. Oh. And also, do you know that also eggs have pores for those people who keep our eggs in the fridge? In the so avoid fridge. having, yeah, have, they have pores. If you notice wow. this, when you crack an egg in a pan and you eat it, it kind of tastes like if you have an, an onion in your fridge that hasn't, hasn't been covered, be or garlic, so you kind of taste that garlic in the suet. So, so you wow. shouldn't be kept in the fridge? Well, you can in the right temperature if you cover all your other food. That's oh. why also in the fridge you must have a specific way of storing stuff, like your, food, um, your cooked stuff, your raw stuff, yeah. Wow. It's a lot of science. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Good tip. Okay, Luckily, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't put my eggs in the, in the fridge. You so. don't? Okay. Yeah. That's good. Okay, next we're going to add, this is a wonderful container from Woolworths. It's got all mm. the ingredients that you need for a really mm. amazing curry. Mm. It's got fresh turmeric, which is... I love turmeric. We know how the mm -hmm. benefits of turmeric. I love you know, turmeric. Anti-inflammatory, mm -hmm. yeah. awesome. Uh, there's some chopped chili in there. There's I a never bit of know garlic. what to do with this thing. Are you meant to throw all of that in? Yeah. Some the chopped whole chili. thing. Well, no, not all of it. You can okay. eyeball it, I sort of. Sometimes. <laughs> I mean, I like how the, how Woolies also do it. They give you. They make the work easy for you. Look, and yeah. everything is already done over there. You must yeah. just all get the, the right quantity for your for your pot. Yeah. Maybe a lot of turmeric. <laughs> Maybe lots. A lot. Do you like spicy food? I like spicy food. So we can add all of that chili. Yes. <laughs> okay. Add it. I right. think throw everything. Everything. There's a, not a lot of chili. Not a lot of chili, but. <laughs> it's a lot of garlic. Okay. 
<laughs> no, scared, no, my uh, thing is that, you know, curries, curries are, are, are very known to be spicy and hot, yeah, but yeah, also nice. curries don't have to be like hot, 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 hot. They can just be mild. Who is this guy? No, I'm just oh, saying, yeah. I'm just saying, Listen, you can have, I, yeah, as long as there's just enough spices to it. I love my curry hot, I don't do mild. Yeah, I'm exactly. that guy who sweats with like a glass of water and having a hot curry. <laughs> but don't make that mistake in Durban. <laughs> well, let's ask you at home, how do you like your curries? Do you like it hot like us ladies? Or chilled like oh, oh chef I am here. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know online, tweet us at afternoon chat using the official hashtag afternoon express. We want to know if you want it hot. Okay. <laughs> that looks amazing it already. It smells beautiful. So and this is just the sauce. This is the base. This is the this base. Is the and base. then Aya is going to take us through the fish. The so while Mo is busy um, doing the curry sauce there, I'm going to start with our fish. So I have plain flour here, cake flour, normal flour. Yeah. I'm just going to add a bit of salt. Cool. You know, curries need a lot of salt, you yeah. know, to, 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 to kind of enhance them. So yeah. with that, I'm going to be adding my curry spices. So basically, this is oh. a curry mix. It's um, almost a similar spice that more um, used for the curry. So it's basically um, cumin, okay. coriander, um, some curry spices, some um, peppercorns. So they're going to be both d d curried independently so that you don't lose any flavor. So the yeah. idea of the flour here is just to keep the fish together. You know okay. how fish quick, um, it easily cooks quickly. Yes. So if you're going to put it in, 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 in the curry sauce with everything and keep on stirring it, you're going to have like bits and pieces of fish everywhere and yeah. also cook unevenly. Beautiful. So now I'm just going to deep fry it. So okay, I'm going to coat it with the flour, deep fry it, and then we're going to put it aside. And also the idea of having the, um, the curry powders mix in here, you kind of want to have just that enough amount of flavor of curry just behind um, the palate of your tongue. So do I dunk these in already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also the oil okay. is ready for that. Yes. Okay. Let's get dirty. <laughs> Let's get hot <laughs> and okay. dirty. Oh, so you okay. So what you're going to do now, you're just going to place oh. one here, like that. Can I throw it in already? That's why I'm using this, because oh. I don't want the oil to be like everywhere. Yeah, you can good do idea. it. You can okay. do it. Everybody stand back. <laughs> There you go. Oh, yeah. we don't have popcorn oil today. <laughs> <laughs> Normally there's like a little explosion with the stuff, okay? And then the idea is just to have that for like five to six minutes. Also, the thing Perfect. is that after taking it out of the, um, the hot oil, you're gonna, you're gonna put it aside and the cooking process is still going on. Ooh. So you don't wanna overcook your fish, you don't want it to taste rubbery and we're using a beautiful hair, uh, yellow tail for that. Beautiful. And you can just, if you, if you want to use meat for that, you can use uh, chicken, beef, or prawns, or whatever. You can just use veggies. It Beautiful. works perfectly as well. So, okay. we cater for everyone. Yeah, I'm throwing these all in. There you go. 